Hey, welcome back to Vintage 12 here on Kingston Plantation. We've got a really cool appetizer for you today. I know the holidays are coming up. Everybody's got gas. Everybody wants to do something cool, right? Got to be a little bit different than the, uh, the pimento loaf, right? Nothing wrong with pimento loaf. So what I'm going to show you now is just a really kind of a, a, a quick appetizer that you can, you can dish up and people think you're brilliant, right? Uh, and, and that's kind of what it's all about, right? Can you, can you get somebody to go, wow, he's really good and make it easy? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a sautéed molten brie on top of uh, cinnamon Granny Smith apples and a toasted baguette with a uh, peach and jalapeno marmalade. I know that sounds daunting, right? You're like, holy cow, that's a lot. It's not. It just, the more you can put a descriptor on something, the better off people are like, ooh, you know, instead of like, hey, there's some melted cheese over there. Uh, so we're going to start you off with a, a, a nice hot pan, right? Uh, a lot of times I end up cleaning up after myself at home, so I try and figure out how can I do something all in one pan, right? And, and you know, if I spread out around the kitchen, I'm gonna make a giant mess. So I start to think ahead. What takes the longest? What doesn't take as much time, right? So we're gonna start off with a, beet, uh, a, a piece of brie. You can go bigger than this, you're just gonna need a bigger pan if you do, right? So uh, you can go to uh, Fresh Foods, Whole Market, uh, Kroger, anywhere, and, and go in the cheese selection and find a soft brie, right? Um, this one I like because it's got a little bit of a harder skin on it because we're gonna do some stuff with it that if it's too delicate, might not handle it as well. So I'm gonna start off by putting it in a little bit of egg wash. Now egg wash, just scrambled eggs, right? No, no real rocket science there. We're gonna get a nice coating on there, make sure it coats all the way around. And I've got a mixture here that is uh, panko breadcrumbs, that's that cool breadcrumb with no crust on it, right? And uh, just regular flour, all-purpose flour, mixed about half and half. Um, I'm kind of breading it and I'm kind of not, if you know what I mean. I want a light dusting of flour on there, but then I also want a few of those breadcrumbs because they kind of stick out and give it some texture. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that we got that coated all the way around. I'm gonna go back into the egg wash again, make sure it takes it all and then back into that mixture. So now if I've done this right, I think I have, uh, what I'm doing is I've, I've coated that brie enough to where it's gonna get brown on the outside, but it's not gonna compromise uh, the cheese because it's, we're basically liquefying this cheese and we're trusting that that skin is gonna hold on. So while that's working, you can see we've got a nice little, uh, little trick here, right, when you're sauteing. If you're putting something into hot oil and you don't hear that like, that rock star sound, and you're like, that sizzle, right? Uh, your pan's not hot enough. Pull your, pull your product out, let your oil get hot. You don't want it smoking hot, but you want it hot enough to where it's actually riding on top of a, a layer of vapor. Um, and it, it'll get that golden brown, uh, not, not that like too dark or too light, you know, blonde look to it. Also, don't be afraid to cook two things at once in your pan. You can see that I've got plenty of room in here. So I'm gonna take my apples that I cut up earlier, Granny Smith apples, and I'm gonna put a couple in there. Now, as those are both cooking, they have different cooking times, but I'm adding them at different times, so it should come out just about perfect. Uh, as that's cooking, I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, uh, brown sugar, to the apples, so they get that really cool fall, wintry kind of flavor to it. And then what I'm gonna do is just turn off the heat on that for a second. As we do that, I wanna show you kind of a cool trick. People will think you're a genius. Uh, guys, single guys, even married guys, pull this one off. Pay attention, what I'm gonna do is go all the way around the tomato. You ever see that game, you know, like when you peel an orange and you're trying to get the longest orange peel? It's the same thing, right? So as I go around this, I'm just trying to get as long of a peel on it as I can. Lay down the cutting board, give it a little pinch, start to roll it up. As you go towards the middle, I think you're gonna start figuring out what I'm making. All right, we just made a rose out of a tomato peel. So that's gonna be the garnish for our plate. So now as we look to start to dish this up, you can see that the cheese has just really got that great golden brown flavor or, or look to it. And the apples come out just as well. We give those a little touch there. What we'll do is fan out those apples and we'll use that as the foundation for the brie. Now as we do that, you can see our plate starting to develop here a little bit. But you've got white, you've got brown, you've got a lot of neutral colors going on. So as we look to try to spice this up, I'm going to take some uh, little pieces of baguette, right? Or you can use a dinner roll, whatever you got hanging around the house. And I've got all that, that oil still in that pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast those in that pan. 
and it's going to have all the flavor from the brie and from the sugar and the cinnamon. It's going to give it a lot of color. So I'm, I'm going to link a, a, a recipe for this marmalade. It's a little, um, it's not very complicated. It's just going to take me longer than I want to right now to show you. But when you go to and, and, and look at that link, remember that you can replace that fruit, the peach and stuff in that marmalade, with just about any fruit you want. You just have to keep the ratios right and it'll work out every time. Uh, I often think that people uh, believe that making jams and jellies and stuff is you know, somewhat difficult and only your grandma can make it. Uh, I can tell you it's just one pot and one pan and you're done. So as we end up with our little toasted baguettes here, we'll finish up the plate. Now this is made for probably, I mean, you, could, you could do this for four to five, six people as an appetizer. So now what you've got is a great holiday appetizer and it took you what, five minutes, right? So molten brie with a peach and jalapeno uh, uh, marmalade on it, toasted baguettes, Granny Smith apples. Thanks for stopping by, I hope to see you at Vintage 12 soon.